This presentation will introduce several open source Python libraries for spatial analysis. Python is a high level general purpose programming language that was designed with code readability in mind. It's simple, easy to learn and use syntax allows for rapid program development and debugging. These make Python the third most popular programming language in 2020. Its popularity is partly due to the fact that it supports modules and packages that encourage code reuse and modularity. Python is often used as a scripting language that glues together different software components. Python is a popular language in the geospatial world, and it is used, for example, to automate GIS workflows, to extend the GIS functionality, or to customize a GIS software. Most GIS software, such as RGIS, QGIS, or PostGIS, provide a Python interface to do spatial analysis. GIS analysis with Python can also be done without a third-party traditional GIS software, just by utilizing Python's extensive set of libraries and modules. Open source GIS with Python has many advantages. For example, developing geospatial solutions with open source components does not require expensive software license fees, which makes it a cost-effective solution. Python is also efficient and flexible. For example, it is used for a wide range of big data analysis tasks. Reusing code from other open source projects can save time and effort. With the extensive collection of libraries, it is possible to combine different software components together from within Python. Unfortunately, the landscape of geospatial Python modules is scattered. A traditional GIS software, such as ArcGIS or QGIS, provides a comprehensive set of GIS tools for a variety of spatial analysis tasks. With Python, GIS tools are spread out across multiple Python modules. As a result, users need to be familiar with many different Python modules and packages for complex analysis tasks to achieve the desired functionality. The following slides will introduce the most widely used geospatial Python packages. For each of these packages, the official website will also be listed, which provides more information about the package, such as code examples and extensive documentation. It is highly recommended that users consult each website individually before attempting to use a module. Shapely is the building block of many other libraries and software. It is used for the manipulation and analysis of geometric objects. It defines geometric structures such as points, lines, and polygons, and translates them to internal Python data structures. It also provides functionality to basic geometric operations, such as computing buffer zones, calculating areas, and doing spatial intersections. It is based on GEOS, the Geometry Engine open source software. PyProj is the Python interface to Proj, which is the cartographic projection and coordinate transformations library. It converts geodetic coordinates into projected coordinates using different cartographic projections. It uses parameters like ellipsoids, axis rotation, force easting and northing, a scaling factor to define a cartographic projection. Fiona is the package that is used to read and write geospatial data files, such as SD shape files, GeoJSON, and other file data formats. It depends on GDAL, but translates everything to internal Python data structures. 
It focuses on standard Python programming style. Therefore, it is more appealing for Python programmers not familiar with GIS concepts. There are a lot of available drivers that translate uh, different GIS file formats into Python. GTAL stands for the Geospatial Data Abstraction Library. It is a massive and comprehensive software library written in C and C++, which also provides a Python API. However, the use of this API is not intuitive for, for Python developers. Therefore, JDAL's Python's Python bindings are not used frequently. Still, JDAL is widely used by other software and modules in the background as a dependency. Raster IO is widely used by other software because it's similar to Fiona as it provides a standardized way to access raster data from Python. Fiona is based on GDAL. GeoPy is a geocoding client for several popular geocoding web services, such as OpenStreetMaps Nominatim, Google Maps, and Bing Maps. Geocoding is the process of converting addresses, cities, place names into geographic coordinates with latitude and longitude coordinate pairs. GeoPy makes geocoding easy for Python developers. PySelf stands for the Python Spatial Analysis Library. It is an open source, cross-platform library for geospatial data science. PySEL places an emphasis on the analysis of geospatial vector data. It can be used for a wide array of analysis tasks, for example, the detection of spatial clusters, hotspots and outliers, the construction of graphs from spatial data, spatial regression and statistical modeling on geographically embedded networks, or exploratory spatial and temporal data analysis. GeoPandas is one of the most important libraries for working with vector-based geospatial data in Python. It makes working with geospatial data easy. Easy in this sense means more standardization and more Pythoning behavior. GeoPandas is the combination of pandas, which is the standard data science library in Python, with Shapely, Fiona, and other geospatial Python packages. GeoPandas enables operations in Python that would otherwise require a spatial database. This presentation introduced open source geospatial Python modules for spatial analysis. GS functionality is not provided within only one Python package, but it is scattered among multiple packages. Therefore, users need to be familiar with the available packages. Users are also encouraged to check the website of each library, which contains the official documentation, code examples, and detailed explanations. Online forums, communities, such as Stack Exchange, are also helpful resources for getting started with geospatial Python programming. <laughs>